And we're back, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. Today, let's review Orton Was The Case. This is a different kind of puzzle adventure game. You play Ziggy, a strange looking character with memory loss, who wakes up in this uh, town of Orton. And Orton here is the main attraction of the game. Loads of hand-drawn, sketchy locations in a sort of a 2.5D perspective. And there's just a lot to discover, like shortcuts and hidden locations, puzzles, and various wacky characters to meet. This is really a testament that handcrafted games are better games, in my opinion. There's also some subtle music and some gibberish, humorous dialogue that really add to the charming atmosphere. In terms of gameplay, there is a twist. You play this game real time, and there's a 12 minute time loop before the town of Orton explodes for some reason. Now in that time frame, uh, you need to find out why the town is destroyed. And you can't do that all at the same time as characters go about their business in real time, uh, making the city feel very alive. Now within that time frame, you can only follow up on uh, one or two quests. And uh, the characters will usually react to certain actions uh, as well. Again, adding to that immersive atmosphere. Now, how does this work? Well, at the beginning of the game, for instance, I helped out a, uh, a worker. And uh, I followed him around, gave him some nails, and then he gave me the code to the apartment He's complex. Right? Now, after a while, the town exploded, and the whole game resets and starts at the beginning. But you get to keep the knowledge gained from a previous loop. So immediately could go to the apartment complex, open the door and continue my adventures. In a way, it sort of feels like a roguelike in that uh, aspect. It's fun to uncover the chain of events that lead to the explosion of the town. And it's all very dynamic. Now, most games let you find out what happened in the past. This game lets you experience the events as they unfold and allows you to influence them, which blows my mind. It's very clever, really, really clever. The main problem with this game though is navigating Ziggy through the town and that can be a bit cumbersome because of the art. It's not always clear where you can go, jump or climb because of the lack of depth in the drawings, basically. Then the game does require you to work your way through a few tricky sections here and there. There's also some combat, there's some monsters you can fight. Uh, not too many, but it's also kind of laggy and cumbersome. But usually the objectives of the game are quite clear. Um, you basically know what you need to do. And if necessary, the game can give you some tips on what to do next. Although the end trial didn't make a lot of sense uh, to me. But still, this is a very charming game. It's also a very generous game, uh, giving you loads of stuff to look out for as you play the game. And you probably haven't seen half of it by the time the credits roll. It might not be a perfect game, but it deserves more attention than it's got. So yeah, get this game. I do recommend this. This is really nice. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video.